Anybody, any questions? He, he's the one who prepared the question earlier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you do, do you mind introducing yourself? So you're doing, you, yeah. no, you, you're doing, you're doing a project for a, for a university. I work for Easy Property. Yeah. Um, but I recently decided to do a degree as well. And my first assignment was to interview an entrepreneur. And I thought, some brownie points if I could put you as the person I well, What do you do for Easy Property? Um, um, I'm an LPP for um, Wales um, listing properties, houses. LPP means? A local property professional. Local property professional, wonderful. <laughs> every every industry has its own acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. So, um, Easy Property, uh, you're listing properties, you're a state agent. Yeah, property. yeah, wonderful. And you're at the same time studying, so. Yes. Far, far away, you asked the first question. Thank you. How do you typically identify a potential business opportunity? Great question, isn't it, in this audience? <laughs> <laughs> the short answer is with difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, I try to focus on uh, business opportunities that can use the easy brand. Uh, not for 100% of my investments. In fact, I now consciously say that a third of my time should be spent on the easy family of brands, one third on unbranded, well diversified investments, you know, boring things like holding stocks and shares and bonds and time deposits and other safe investments, real estate, and then a third, you know, charity. But if we can focus on the entrepreneurial part, which is the easy family of brands, clearly the easy family of brands is a value for money brand. So if there is a proposal which is expensive, which is difficult, <laughs> which is um, for the few and not for the many. I used to love that expression until Jeremy Corbyn actually stole it. <laughs> for the many, not the few. Um, you know, you, you very quickly sh shift through a, a lot of ideas that don't make sense. And then you get down to the other, the other ones. Now, one thing you must have realized, because many of you in this room have been through the process, is I want to see perseverance. You know, I want to see people who really want to do it, and, and they care about it, and they come back to meetings, and you know, sort of, it takes two to tango. If you, if you don't really believe in this idea, why should I back you? Why should I believe in, in the idea as well? Um, I also try to find um, competitive advantages. I mean, you say you're going to be cheaper, but why? You know, can you explain to me? Can you tell me which cost you took out? So, you know, if I can go back to day one with the airline, we almost used to have this checklist and say, we're cheaper because we don't pay travel agents, we don't give free food, we use Luton, which is cheaper than Heathrow, and there is no business class, so there are more seats on the plane. You know, that, tick the box, you know, four things made a difference. Um, you know, sometimes you get people who say, um, you know, we're going to undercut, um, if, I, if I can use an expression, Colin, we're going to undercut Gillette. I mean, Gillette is a legendary brand, a big, big company that makes this very expensive razor blades that we, you know, most of us use and completely overpriced. Now, there is a proposal to do it uh, in easy shape. Now, let's analyze it. Is this cheaper? Is it? I, I don't use the word better because, you know, if you're better, you might be more expensive. So again, you're using the wrong brand. But, you know, I'd like to see why is it cheaper? How are you going to undercut Gillette? Or British Airways or Hilton Hotel or whatever. So, you know, show me your competitive advantages. Is that a good enough answer for your project? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, so when you do, we've talked about uh, evaluating a business opportunity, and when you decide to proceed with an opportunity or a person, what are the first key steps that you take? Uh, business plan? Or well, I'd like to see a business plan. Yeah. Um, you know, normally a three-year business plan, which, you know, for me to make sense, it has to have a profit and loss account, a balance sheet, and a cash flow statement. I know it all sounds boring, but you, you basically need a, a complete set of financial statements, and these are the three things that make a, a, a full picture in terms of financial statements. So a three-year business plan. I'd like to see um, the competitive advantages. Why are you going to be cheaper? Show me your cost base. Why is it cheaper than your competitors? Assuming you want to use the easy brand and assuming you want to undercut your competitors. I mean, if you are a premium brand, it's a, it's a different process. Yeah. And then I'd like to see um, some cost control. You know, show me that you're not going to hire too many people, you're going to control your costs, you're going to buy competitively, you're going to have 
three bids yeah. before you buy anything. Yes. Um, challenges to entrepreneurship, in your experience, what are the biggest challenges you faced and how have you overcome them? There is a challenge every day, but um, I think looking back at, at, at the last 25 years, a, a very scary moment was after September 11th, you know, when, you know, um, what happened in, in America basically shut down aviation in America for almost a week. I mean, Europe wasn't grounded, but still, there was a lot of people who didn't want to fly, they were scared and everything else. So, you know, there was a time when you would have thought, you know, we would never make it, yeah. you know, past September 11th. Thank God we did. Yeah, thank, thank <laughs> God, absolutely. Um, and the last question, what would you say are the main characteristics of a successful entrepreneur? <laughs> they have to like taking business risk, yeah. and they have to like being their own boss. So if you want to be your own boss and you like taking business risks, then entrepreneurship is for you. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. So Lewis, would you just